All right, you guys, how are you doing today? So I've got the uh, Forescan here, and I've got the vehicle interface, OBD Linky X. I want to show you guys how to do the clutch adaptive learn on your Focus or Fiesta, just in case you've never uh, used Forescan before. Um, so you're going to want to download the driver for this if it doesn't automatically detect it, and that's easy. You just Google the OBD Link EX, you'll find the website, download the driver for Windows, and install it. And I am using a laptop for this, by the way. I've got it uh, hooked up in the car right here. You're going to need to get a uh, license for Forescan, and that's free for two months. So the only thing you got to do there is go to the Forescan website and apply for the free license. And usually within 30 minutes or an hour, you'll get it emailed to you. And then after you get it emailed to you, you download the license file. And then once you load the Forescan app up on your computer, you load that license into the software okay i've got foreskin running and the uh, steering wheel with a question mark on it that's what you click to load the software or excuse me load the uh, activation code and, uh, you just click there i'm going to turn my key on here i clicked on the vehicle icon in the top left i'm going to click see that little uh connect the vehicle right there you click that I'm going to click uh, yes on that. Okay, it's kind of going through all the modules, scanning for codes, doing a network test. Just does that automatically, no problem. It says it's ready. Okay, on the left of the screen here, I click the wrench icon, and I'm going to click TCM Adaptive Learning right here, right there. Nope, not that one. Oops. There we go. And after I click that, I'm going to click the play button right there on the bottom. Let me go ahead and do that. That's just, uh, if you want to read that, pause real quick. Okay. Uh, it's just, yeah, anyway. Um, click on Clutch Adaptive Learning. Press the brake pedal and hold. Okay. Please wait 10 seconds. Okay. It's resetting the Adaptive Learn that's already in there. It's doing the Shift Drum Adaptive Learn right now. You hear that? It's going through all the tests now. Run the engine. Okay, it's alive. Okay. Press the brake pedal and hold. Put the accelerator pedal all the way to the floor so the vehicle speed is maximum blah blah blah. doing the initial clutch point learn and then it's going to do the fine tuning on that after this return to idle continue holding the uh, brake pedal okay hold the brake pedal very smoothly don't jerk it around don't have the air conditioning going don't have any um, don't have the radio or anything going this is kind of precise here just hold the brake pedal turn the headlights off It just it needs to be a steady, smooth idle for it to do this properly. If you keep failing you know, with a torque disturbance code, I have a separate video for that to help you uh, figure out why and fix it. I can link it in the description below if you need that. But anyway, I'm just continuing to hold the brake pedal smoothly. I'm going to edit out this waiting period here. Okay, it's done with uh, shaft A. Now it's learning on shaft B. Routine has been successful. Clutch A uh, touch point is 11.7 and 13 millimeter on the clutch B. Successful. At this point, I'm going to click OK. Turn ignition off. OK. It's doing a power down test here, making sure it powers down. OK, it's been 45 seconds. Turn the ignition on. Do not start the engine. I'm going to wait a couple seconds here, and okay. Alright, so that's it. 
the uh, touch point learn is done. I'm going to exit out of here. When you do the clutch adaptive learn like that, you're also going to be doing the shift drum adaptive learn during that process. So you don't have to do the shift drum adaptive learn if you did the clutch adaptive learn. So, oops. I'm going to click OK here. Okay. If I can. Oh, laptop touchpads are so annoying. <laughs> okay. At this point, I'm going to go in and clear codes out, any codes that were set. If your touch point learn failed at any point for a torque disturbance, then um, it's probably going to have set a U1013 in the TCM. And um, I want to clear that out. It's not going to set a check engine light, that particular code, but uh, it's good to just clear everything out after doing a procedure like that. Okay, just scan for codes again. All good. I did show you the wrong thing there on the clear codes. I'm new at 4Scan. Uh, I believe it was... Oh, what did I click? Yeah, reset DTC. Yeah, and then read DTC is just when you scan codes. See? It's just scanning all the modules. Yeah. Okay. And when you click to, uh, clear log there, it kind of just deletes all this. I, I'm still learning 4Scan, but the purpose of this video was to show you how to do the clutch adaptive learn, and I have done that, so very straightforward, simple, powerful software, and it's free. You just need to get the uh, vehicle interface. I'm going to turn that chime off on the key. Yeah, that's it. That's all there's, there is to it, and this is a great thing for you guys to, to get. Uh, it's free for the two-month license on the software. You just need to get a vehicle interface. I recommend getting an interface that automatically switches between medium and high-speed network. The OBD Link EX is a great interface, and it's $59 on Amazon. And this is a, a good, cheap way for you guys to be able to do the adaptive learn after you've done a TCM or a clutch on your car. And you can also read uh, codes and uh, do various functional tests like that. So thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful. You have a great day, and good luck with your focus. If you have any questions, let me know. I'll answer them below. I also have a Discord group and Facebook group, and we're happy to help you as well. Bye-bye.